Greetings! Today I'm going to show you a trick you can use to copy routines from one PsychoPy experiment to another. So if you've worked with PsychoPy for a while, you've probably made several experiments, and maybe you've encountered the situation where you're making a new experiment and you realize you'd like to include a routine that you've included in a prior experiment. Now, PsychoPy doesn't include any way of dragging routines from one experiment to the other or of importing an existing experiment into an ongoing experiment that you're programming. But there is a way around this. So I have two very simple experiments here. They both have a welcome screen that just says, welcome to the experiment with a keyboard uh, object that accepts space to proceed. There's a goodbye screen that says, thanks for participating. And in my color experiment here, I have a loop of color trials that just shows uh, colors uh, on the screen. So we have green, red, uh, blue, and yellow. And in my fruits experiment here, it's virtually identical, but it has something called a fruit trial. Um, and here I actually show uh, fruits on the screen. So these are just two very basic experiments and we're only using them today to see how you would in theory copy one routine from an experiment and copy it into uh, another. So how do we get this fruit trial into our color experiment? Well, first of all, let's take our color experiment and we're going to save as because we don't want to accidentally mess up our color experiment. And the trick I'm going to show you today, you can corrupt your experiments. So let's call this a new experiment. And now anything we do to our new experiment, our color experiment is going to be safe in a different file. So if we do mess up and corrupt our experiment, uh, we can always revert to the color experiment. But what I would like to happen in my new experiment is to have the uh, fruit trial show up right after the color trial. Now the way you do this is by actually manually editing the sciexp file uh, in a text editor. So my text editor of choice is Genie. Now again, I will preface this by saying that editing your sciex file in this way can potentially corrupt your experiment. So Make sure you have a backup copy and basically use this technique at your own risk. Uh, but that said, it's not really all that complicated. So I've taken my new experiment and I've opened it in my text editor of choice. Again, I like to use a program called Genie, G-E-A-N-Y. You could even use Notepad to do this if you wanted. And I've shown uh, uh, sciexp files in uh, text editors before on different videos on my channel. And what these files basically are, are XML files that define everything that's in the timeline of your uh, experiment. So welcome screen, color trial, blank, goodbye. You'll notice there's a routines uh, section and in the routine section is a welcome screen. And on the welcome screen, we have a text component and a keyboard component. Uh, then we have a goodbye screen and we have a text component and a keyboard component. Then we have a blank screen. And finally down here, we have a color trial. And so this is one of the key routines that you might want to copy. In our case, we actually want to copy the fruit uh, routine, the fruit trial. So I'm going to open up my fruit experiment just by dragging and dropping. And I'm going to look for the uh, fruit routine, which you can find right here, fruit trial. So here's fruit trial. And again, if we go back to our experiments, this is the routine I'm trying to copy over here. So once you have your entire routine, uh, notice that you have to start copying at the beginning of routine and get to the end, a slash, and then the, the name of the um, XML um, object indicates the end of it. So if I just copied this, uh, then I would actually corrupt my new experiment file. I need to copy everything. So from the start of the routine to the end of the routine. Um, you can also copy individual components within a routine. So if I wanted uh, right now on my, uh, in my uh, fruit trial, I have just a simple image. So there's an image component. You could start and copy the image component and paste it and call it image fruit two. And if I did that now on my timeline, I would actually have image fruit and image fruit two if I were to reopen this file because I've just added a second image component in my routine. So you can edit these XML files, these Sci experiment files uh, to copy things within an experiment. 
um, but we can also copy it between. So I'm grabbing my routine here. I'm going to go over into my new experiment and I have color trial here. Below that, I'm going to paste in fruit trial. So now I have my fruit trial routine, my color trial routine, and everything looks good. So I'm going to save this file. Now, if you go back to PsychoPy, you'll notice that nothing has changed. That's because I have to reopen the new experiment file. So I'm going to close this without saving. If it asks you if you want to save, you say no because you've just edited the file manually. And now you can come in and open up, in my case, new experiment. And my experiment looks the exact same. Nothing has changed. But if I select insert routine, you will notice the fruit trials now in the list and can simply be added to my timeline. And I have the fruit trial now. Um, another way you could have done this, close this once again, I'll say no, I'm not going to save my changes. Another way you could have done this is by manually editing the flow. So here's the timeline uh, for your experiment. Notice it says to begin with the welcome screen. Then there is a loop, and within that loop is the color trial and the blank, and then the loop ends, and then we have the goodbye screen. Well, I could simply copy this, and rather than having a second color trial, I could add in the fruit trial. That's the routine that I've copied from my other experiment. If I save this now and open up the new experiment, you'll find that the fruit trial is already on the timeline. And there it is. So using this technique of manually edi editing the Psi experiment files, you can actually copy routines across experiments. Uh, you can copy a number of routines. So in this very simple example, we just had the color and the fruit trials. They're pretty basic. I could have just recreated a fruit trial if I wanted it in my uh, color loop. But you might have much more sophisticated routines from past experiments that you want to copy over. And rather than going through the, the tedium of having to look at how you set up the previous routines and uh, basically input everything fresh, you can simply copy the work that you've done before, paste it into your new experiment, um, and you'll have it all there. Anyway, this has been a short little PsychoPie tip. Um, I hope it helps.